Looking for a new way to start your mornings with current events and trending topics? Hey y'all, it's your girls Jasmine and Shantae from The Way with Jazz and Tay, your new favorite weekly morning show. Catch us every Thursday morning from 7 to 8 a.m. where we'll be bringing you fun icebreakers to kick off your morning, reviews to inform your day, and all the new music. Again, catch us, your new favorite duo, Jasmine and Shantae, every Thursday from 7 to 8 a.m. Keep up with us on Instagram at The Way Jazz and Tay and on Twitter at The Way JT. See you on Thursday. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Have you heard of Unidragon.com? Yeah, isn't that the puzzle people? It is. They are the largest manufacturer and sellers of wooden puzzles in the world. Let me tell you about it. They have tons of designs. All is set $29.95 on their website at Unidragon.com. Yeah, I know. I've seen them. I, I really like the owl one. All of these are laser cut to perfection. Instead of those old traditional puzzles that you get that are done on cheap cardboard backings, these are all done with wood cutouts, laser cut, and the images instead of the standard jigsaw puzzle actually include different animals within the puzzle itself to put together. It's like it's like those big collages where they have faces that turn into Empire State Buildings and stuff. That's correct. Absolutely. You really see so you, you you like the charming owl? Well, I really like the owl. And right now there's a special going on for any Tech Time Radio listeners. If they put in the code Dragon Tech, they'll receive 10% off until June 1st, 2021. That's cool. I'm going to put an order in today. And of course, my favorite, the inspiring unicorn. Are you going to get the fox or are you going to get the dragon or the fish? What 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 are you looking to get? No, man, I'm going to get the owl. You hit the owl, not the serious panda. No, but the owl. It's all about the owl, man. I'm it's, a night owl. You're a night owl. You are a night owl. Visit unidragon.com today and make sure to put in Dragon Tech as your code to receive 10% off. And remember, yeah, those are really cool. I really like the owl. Mike likes the owl. Coming to you from the shores of the Pacific Northwest, keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side. With leading edge topics, along with special guests, to navigate technology in a segmented, stylized radio program. The information that will make you go, hmm. Pull up a seat, raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. <laughs> Welcome to Tech Time Radio. Top of the morning to y'all. Oh, man. It it is our St. Patty's Day week celebration. Obviously, somebody's celebrating already. That's right. Of course. There's a (laughs) day. You know, it's all about the owl, too, though. Yeah, yeah, dude, you're so ridiculous. Yeah. (laughs) You know what? I when actually, you when you when you jumped out of the car, I was like, "Oh no, oh no!" I, I should have made you have another sweater. I should have made a Saint Patrick yeah, no. sweater for you. So we you don't know. We don't need another sweater. We, we did that for our Christmas <laughs> event. Well, welcome to Tech Time Radio. We're live streaming Saturdays from four to five p.m. So if you're listening to our show at a different time, or you're listening to a read broadcast. We are live on Facebook.com forward slash Tech Time Radio. We're also live on YouTube.com forward slash Tech Time Radio, and we are in full HD today. Yeah, we that's have, why we, you're so green. I know. Well, so, <laughs> hey, it's may the luck of the iris be with you. There, see. So, I, all I, right. I, so you're a we're starting out with some Irish Jameson. Star Wars nerd. We got some Jameson Irish whiskey today too. So we are all Irish, Irish, Irish. Man, I need my sunglasses. I know this is fantastic. You know, oh, right. I'm Scottish. Right? Well, we are the Tech Time Radio. <laughs> we are the Tech Time Radio show um, that is a weekly technology show for the common person. Uh, we have simple format so you don't have to geek out Mm -hmm. and you get to listen to us again talk about technology and enjoy each other's company sit back and have a little whiskey on the side for the next hour as we talk trending topics in technology items now if you are a youtuber (laughs) and make fun of your hat if you're a youtuber you can go and my hat looks beautiful um to to do super chats right now so if you have a membership with that or if you want to be an exclusive member of the tech time radio show you can become a producer and join us on our tuesday night banters when we come up with our story ideas and and (laughs) lots of behind the scene footage so our membership start at nine dollars yeah but you never know what you're going to dress up like well you don't know what i'm going to dress up like that's right okay well you know what mike welcome to the show Thanks. I'm going to start out with, as we always do, <laughs> our loaded question of the week. All right. All right. What company or product do you wish was still around? New Coke. New, <laughs> co- new, 
New Coke. New Coke. New Coke. Remember oh. New Coke? I do remember, remember New Coke. Remember how... Remember, remember how, all the protests that were happening? That, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, the one that came on out, and, and it tasted essentially like Pepsi, right? Yeah, Pepsi it was, that's is, what it was. It was, it was, it was a Pepsi, Pepsi form Pepsi knockoff. Yep. <laughs> and they were like, no, we needed the original Coke, the original yeah. Coke. So they had the new Coke for a while, and then they came back with the cans that were the original Coke cans. That's, I think, what, it last like a month, maybe two months? Yeah, you know what? It was the best. If you ever wanted to do an advertising campaign, they say it was one of the best advertising campaigns. That's because, because everybody, everybody hated it. Everybody hated it. So everybody had an opinion, and they were all happy when Coca-Cola Classic came back, and everybody decided to go out and buy it. So yep. yep. That's, that's the whole reverse that's, that's, psychology, huh? That's uh, no news is good news. That's right. Okay. Or, no, no. What was going to say? No news all is news good? Is, all news is good. Or any, any news is good news, I don't news, know right? what I'm saying. Okay, Never well, mind. Have you, have I, you I'm having the, I can't the Irish think, whiskey? I can't think with all this green up in my face. Oh, well, yeah, You know what? Uh, we're going to keep on this hat as long as I can. Oh, God. Uh, I'm right. not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm not a cat. We're going to be in trouble. Okay, today on the show, we're going to be explaining what NFTs are. So NFTs, this is crazy, but we're going to talk about it yeah. because how the heck can you sell a tweet for $2.5 million dollars? Well, the founder of Twitter is selling his tweet, and right now the current bid is $2.5 yeah. million How's because that? it is an NFT. Yes. So we're going to talk about NFTs. Yeah. I don't, I don't that, want to give it away. It is a crazy new environment. That tells you how much people don't have uh, a life. A life. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about it. Then we also have our uh, Celebrating Women we have Gwen Way, who is our producer. She's been mm-hmm. a part of Tech Time Radio. She's been on a, a couple of our episodes in the early stages in Studio 6, Season 1. So now we're in st- Season 2 here at KKNW, a little bit nicer studio. Yep. Uh, a little bit more air conditioning. a nicer studio. Uh, it's a li- <laughs> very nice. Uh, Gwen's going to be joining us. She has a gadget and gear item that she's <laughs> going to be talking about, and then we're going to talk a little bit about her and, and women in technology at the same time. So that's going to be a great segment. Um, I have a gadget and gear giveaway, so we're going to be giving away a lot of items. So today is the show that you want to be active in because if you're calling in on the show, if you're deciding to tweet Tech Time Radio with a bunch of stuff, you're going to get a bunch of gifts that we're going to be giving away. Are you going to talk in an Irish accent? Uh, no, I only have <laughs> one <laughs> accent. I only have one accent, so no. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, now, if you, want, it, if you want to ask us a question or call the show, you can call 425-373-5527 or one 298 Five five six nine, and David will get you queued up on the show, and we can ask you some questions. You can ask us some questions or topics. Uh, Mike, as we always have our whiskey tasting, we'll have a thumbs up, thumbs down mm-hmm. for our pick of the day. Uh, make sure you listen all the way to the show because we have some great items that we're going to be talking about in the middle section and in the end section. So now let's get our episode started with our top stories in the first five minutes. What's happening in the world of technology? This is our top stories in the first five minutes. All right. Da, da, da. Welcome to story number one. <laughs> Hackers breach thousands of security cameras exposing Tesla jails and hospitals. All right. We have William with the inside scoop here, David. So if you can cue that up, William's going to tell us a little bit about this. Hey, thanks for having me. So, uh, you know, the company, this, this security camera company, Verkata, was actually the company that was hacked, right? So this company had set up a feature called Super Admin. And so the hackers were able to find the username and password just sitting out there on the internet for this Super Admin account. And that Super Admin account, you can use to look through the cameras of every Verkata customer, Um, you know, which is inherently problematic in itself, right? Like, it's not just that... They broke into the Verkata system. They broke into something that is probably, you know, from a security standpoint, shouldn't exist in the first place. Um, and, you know, as you said, they have a wide range of customers, which includes companies like Tesla and Cloudflare. Uh, but they are also in many schools, um, jails, prisons. And the hackers could watch live and also grab archives of clips of videos, sometimes um, videos that had sound. And some of these cameras were also equipped to do facial recognition technology. Awesome. So there we go. So isn't that super fan- admin? Super admin. Yeah, so I love that. A, a camera company that essentially has super admin password available on the internet, not even the dark web, just available publicly on the internet with access that would allow you to see every single camera uh, was exposed. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of post-it notes all over cameras now. So uh, absolutely, well, <laughs> I have a little security thing that I put in front of my camera just do in you? case I do because I I don't want someone to see what's going on. But this essentially had <laughs> facial recognition technology that they haven't Verkata hasn't even talked about. 
So they're not even supposed to be having this technology yet? This or stuff it, is going to prolifer- proliferate uh, the technology going forward. It, it, it will, but you should probably let your customers know that you're actually tracking that instead of them finding out after you have a security breach and the hackers decide to tell everybody well, about it. What about that whole... What about that whole any news is good news thing? Right? So, so there was 330 security cameras inside Madison County Jail in Huntsville, in which all of them included some in hidden events. Mm-hmm. Some of them had thermostat locations, uh, inmates, correction facilities. were using facial recognition, and essentially these hackers were able to watch how they were tracking all of their inmates in the jail. And now they know exactly where all the other hidden cameras are throughout the prison itself. The hack exposed essentially um, the ability for people to have access to view items that are not supposed to be viewed and also have the ability to come into Andy Hook Elementary School in Newton, Connecticut, um, where there that's a pretty big school. That's where the uh, gunman killed more than 20 people in 2012. Sandy Hook? Or Sandy Hook, sorry. Okay. Yep, Sandy Hook. And you were able to see... Uh, Different images regarding um, different prisons, different uh, police stations. Essentially, you see an arrest of an individual that's going on, and essentially the hackers just for the two hours decided to watch a bunch of footage and record it, and now they have all that footage available to resell to this startup company in California, Vercada, that is essentially said that their security is their number one focus. Right. So okay. these these guys were saying that they were doing it because they wanted to show how easy it was. They wanted to show how to easy it was. It. And, and you should never have a super admin. And if you're going to have yeah, a super right. admin account, you should let your uh, companies know that that's available. Yeah. So they kind of were uh, tattling on what this company had in place, a, a very simple way. Yeah. All right. Story number two. Whoever said sports betting was bad? Not me. Absolutely. No. That's, that's <laughs> no. right. So well, Only when you're getting called on the carpet. That's right. So sports gambling group Intain announced that it is donating near, nearly $300,000 to organizations to help women pursue careers in technology. The funds will be provided by the Eaton Foundation, a nonprofit branch of the organizations, with diversity in tech and core part of its mission. Girls Who Code, a global nonprofit that seeks... Uh, to even the technology gender gap will receive $250,000. About thirty eight k will go to the Tech Girls Movement Foundation uh, that encourages girls exploring STEM uh, processes in school. So look at that. Yeah. That is a great... I just wanted to have an uplifting deal about gambling. Congratulations. They are... You just wanted to slide that in there. I just want to... You 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 don't care about the awesomeness that comes after it. You just wanted to slide it. I just said... It was a a gambling company. It was a gambling company. So this is the one that owns Party Poker. Not that I know about no. that but at all. No, no or, or sportbetting.net. <laughs> so <laughs> not that I know anything about them. But I'm excited to have uh, uh, my uh, money go to help charity. <laughs> okay. 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 St- that's good. <laughs> Story number three. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Why Facebook and Apple are fighting over your iPhone. So here we go. We got Facebook and Apple fighting. And you know what? Apple, this is nothing new. No, but I'm starting to like Apple more and more and more. And Facebook is kind of being creepers. And so Apple is essentially saying we want you to, to get out of our ecosystem and we're going to let people either yeah. opt in or opt out. So let's talk about But this. that's Apple. Apple is all inclusive, right? Correct. So your iPhone will be the battlefield in the clash between Apple and Facebook. Dun, dun, dun. When Apple updates iOS 14... It's iPhone and iPad operating system in the next few weeks. There will be about 1 billion users that will face the decisions. Do you want apps like Facebook to collect data to offer personalized ad across other sites and apps? So essentially Facebook, when you have the phone open and you you, you may not even have Facebook actively oh, working, yeah. but you're just going and searching on a browser, they get that information. Yes, I so, know. So they can then all of a sudden bombard you with information. Like puzzles. That's correct. I got... 65 million ads for those puzzles that the, we did the commercial on. For the commercial one? Yeah. The Unidragon commercial? The Unidragon. I got it on Facebook. Are you, are you getting the unicorn? I got it on Twitter. No, I'm getting the owl. <laughs> okay. All right. And I got it on I got it on Instagram. I got it all on all, every all across single platform. platform. Yeah, I started getting those ads. And that's, that's how quickly it happens. So iPhone users currently will be able to uh, have a setting that will pop up. And Apple will say, this app is tracking transparency feature that consumers will be able to control and turn off so Facebook will not get that information. Yeah, Facebook's so, angry about that because that's where they get their money. That is. So that is our top stories in the first five minutes. Now, Mike, 
It's time to get through all of our stories and tell people that if they want to find out more information, they can go to techtimeradio.com. Click on the facts section as you scroll down to the webpage, see our beautiful faces on there and, uh, and everything else that's available there. <laughs> yeah. and, and you can click on the facts section. You can click on a link and all this information will be available to you to continue to look at. We're really excited. Up next, we have a great interview with one of our producers. She's going to share with us her gadget and gear item. I have a new case for my iPhone. We're going to be giving away some new cases from Clicker. And so we have some in studio. Mike's got one. I know, I think, David, did you get the clicker device? So everybody's got it in studio, and we're going to be giving away some of those a little later today. We also have our whiskey selection. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. Sit back and enjoy some whiskey. We'll see you after this break. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Have you heard about 180 Consulting? No. I love these guys. You know how much I avoid working with copy of vendors, right? Uh, actually, I get to hear about it all the time. Not anymore, because guess what? The guys at 180 Consulting took over the entire process. They assessed our needs, worked directly with the vendors on my behalf, and helped us understand our option. No sales fluff, just good information so we can make the right decision. Well, that sounds good. How do they get paid? Their only compensation comes from a small share of the cost savings they create. They work for us, and it's a win-win. You know, that sounds like a no-brainer. There's two ways to reach them. You can get them at info at 180-consulting.com or visit them online at www.180-consulting.com. www.180-consulting.com. Thank you, Mike. 180-consulting.com. What's your story? Have you ever sat with that question and looked to your heart for the answer? It's time to explore the real you. Tune in Thursdays from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. for the brand new show, Story You, with Coach Debbie. Debbie and her guests have a mission to inspire and coach you to find your voice. If you need direction, Story You with Coach Debbie is for you. If you want to be an author, Story You with Coach Debbie is for you. Tune in Thursdays at 4 p.m. and be inspired. Hi, I'm Bernadette Pager, the host of an informed life radio. In an age when the term misinformation is used to silence criticism and debate about COVID-19, vaccines, and more, we are bringing you doctors, lawyers, and scientists to discuss the missing information about your health and medical freedom. And Informed Life Radio airs right here on KKNW every Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. We're starting a real health revolution, one conversation at a time. Join us. So here at Tech Time Radio, we got a new sponsor. It's called Smile Brilliant. If you're like me, you're a little confused about teeth whitening due to all the product variations on the market. So what have we learned? Well, LED lights are a novelty and they don't actually produce better results. Right. And strips neglect the gum lines, crevices, and molars. And then that crest whitening with charcoal and everything is an abrasive that actually wears down the enamel of your teeth. Yeah. And whitening toothpaste only works on the surface stains. The number one product recommended by dentists are custom fitted trays made by the dentists. They are, however, very, very costly. With Smile Brilliance Lab direct process, you can have a custom fitted teeth whitening tray at a fraction of the price without a single visit to a dentist. Using an exact model of your teeth, Smile Brilliance Lab technicians will handcraft your trays to ensure the best possible results. You do all of this from the comfort of your home using their Lab Direct mail in process for as little as $149 or three easy payments of $49. Additionally, you get a two year tray replacement warranty and a 45 day satisfaction guarantee. For a limited time, as a Tech Time Radio listener, you can buy any teeth whitening or night guard system and receive a second absolutely free for a friend or family member. Head on over to SmileBrilliant.com and use the Tech Time Radio coupon code at checkout. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your little green leprechaun of the day. <laughs> um, if you would like to talk and ask us a technology question, let's say you've uh, been breached or hacked or you had any issue. We just talked about all those cameras that were uh, breached. Now would be a great time to call. You can call 425-373-5527 or you can call 1-888-298-KKNW, which is 1-888-298-5569. And David will get you on the show and we can ask you a couple of questions about maybe some security breaches that have happened to people. So it is kind of scary. It, it, you know, it, it's, it's amazing what's happening in today's technology. Mike. The downside. During the break, we had a chance to taste the Jameson cask 
Mates IPA edition, mm-hmm. 80 proof. Mm-hmm. Uh, for it's thirty four dollars for a seven hundred and fifty milliliter bottle. Look at that! I'm going really slow. Everything's <laughs> being pronounced. Worked for you, didn't it? <laughs> that's what it did. Uh, everything's coming out. It's an Irish whiskey blend. Of course, we're in kind of in the Irish mood right now. You are. It, it's got hops and light citrus with a sweet herbal notes of delicate spicy tones with a lingering fresh fruit and hops with the ways the grains and barleys are signature to be smooth at the finish. All right. What do you think? I, I thought it was pretty strong. I didn't get a lot of fruit stuff out of it. You didn't get a lot of fruit stuff <laughs> out of it? Well, maybe maybe as it aerates here a maybe, little bit maybe. more, we'll be do that. All right. Well, we're going to move right now on, after we got our drinks out of the way, to our segment, Gadgets and Gear, and we're going to get our guest in here, Gwen Wayup. What's new in our Gadgets and Gear? Okay, to kick off this segment, we are excited to introduce Gwen Way, one of the producers of Tech Time Radio. She's been a guest host back in Season 1 at Studio 6, and she's been part of the show since we moved to KKNW as a writer and producer. She is joining us today from her remote location. Gwen, how are you doing? Doing well, doing well, and I am... Glad to see you taking St. Patrick's Day so seriously. I am. You know what? That's you know, we didn't talk about that in production. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. Uh, it, was a complete, no, we didn't. <laughs> it was a complete and utter surprise That's when you a, got out of the car. I was, like, oh no! <laughs> yeah, just you, you know, I've I've been working with Nathan for years at this point, so I am not surprised by any holiday he chooses. To That's do right. That. Just think of, well, after we're, after the show, we go out and we have dinner and we debrief on the show. Just you're think not, of, you're I'm going to be not sitting like the hat, Oh yeah. You? Oh, right no. next to the people are going to be looking at you like <laughs> oh, we're weirdos man. here. Okay. I, you know, I saw the sport coat and I was like, hey, he dressed up today. I did, I and then he got out and then I'm like, oh, no. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, Gwen, welcome to the show. So it's a pleasure having you on the show. So you've been a part of our show for a long time. So i got a couple questions and, and I know that you're going to be talking about a gadget and gear segment. But I, I, but I kind of want to talk about women in technology. So this is something sure. that is really hot on topic right now. And I, I, I will admit that um, I just hire people, I mean, I hire Gwen um, as a female into an organization as a technician because she was the most qualified person, not because she was female yeah. per se, but most qualified. We brought her all the way from Austin, Texas. I flew on down there and I interviewed you and, and we were really excited to right. have you as a part of a organization that we have. But tell me, what is the struggle a- as a woman in technology kind of breaking through some of the barriers that, that may be just coherent the, that I don't know about that you have had to experience? Well, I mean, there are definitely struggles, Nathan. Uh, You are a standout and not the norm in terms of bosses who hire just based on qualifications. I actually was turned down for a promotion at the job I was working before you hired me because I was a woman. Uh, Literally, the other two people I was up against were male Uh, They were each asked in the interview what their two-year plan looked like. I was asked what my 10-year plan looked like. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so it is, it must be tough getting, getting into the entry level positions, right? Is it tough in the entry level positions and then moving up or is it easy getting into an entry level position, but the progress doesn't happen? Which would you say is, is right now it's. It's relatively easy to get into an entry-level position. Uh, The biggest problem with the entry-level positions is that they are paying women less still to this day, uh, which is why we're hired for the entry-level positions. Uh, And we tend to get stuck in them longer. It's harder to get promoted. So we tend to make over our entire career far less. Also, a lot of women are not taught how to ask for more money. And that is a shame. That should be part of everybody's education in high school, honestly. That should be. That should absolutely be. That's true. I have coached several women on how to ask for better money. For better money. Mm -hmm. So I will say, not to toot my own horn, but when I hired Gwen, she was the (laughs) highest paid person on my staff at the time because she was the most qualified. So, I mean, it was yeah. just very simple. I was looking for a senior engineer, and I interviewed a bunch of people. And, again, I was looking for the most qualified, and she came in as most qualified. And 
the salary was there. And so, okay. All right. Well, I, I'm glad that you could kind of share some of that stuff, but I know that's not why we originally had you on the show because you've been a part of our show forever, but we are going to have you a part of our gadgets and gear segment once a month. So we're going to have Gwen come on. Um, this is really to save my pocketbook because what happens is I'm getting in trouble. I keep on getting in trouble because every you buy gadget, everything. Yeah, every gadget. Now let me ask you: since since you did your research, did you actually spend your money on your gadget and gear, Gwen? Oh, absolutely. See, sweet. And, so and I say I money. Know I'm going to every month. I appreciate that you're only going to have me on once a month because otherwise I would be getting in trouble. Yes, I understand how that is. So I, I can yeah. do it. So <laughs> so let's have you talk about your gadget and gear right now. And, and I'm going to kind of turn it over to you and we'll listen and ask a couple questions. Sure, sure. It's, it's actually something that is close to my heart. Uh, 2020 was a rough year, I think, for everybody. Uh, but the thing that I missed the most was traveling. Uh, my husband and I were supposed to go to Ireland for a week for a one-year anniversary slash belated honeymoon trick. Aha, uh-huh. top of the day. I get you. Okay. Good. All exactly. right. Fantastic. Uh, just, let's just feed that fire. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you knew it was coming, Mike. That's right. Mom. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, obviously, we weren't able to go. Uh, and travel has been a huge part of my life. Uh, one of my favorite trips was actually back in 2011 when I went all the way to Thailand. Oh. And spent two and a half weeks there. It was beautiful. But I did find out one thing on that trip that is very hard for traveling. I cannot sleep on planes. Oh, see, I, that's one thing I can do. I can sleep on planes in like two seconds. I, I have out. a feeling you could probably sleep in rush hour traffic. I probably, well, I, I have done that too. <laughs> not in the Geo Metro. Not, not in my <laughs> Geo Metro. That's why you drive a Geo Metro, <laughs> that's right? right? So, I so you can stay bump, awake. I can bump off <laughs> the other awake. cars. That's right. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I ran into the problem on the way back from Thailand that I had seen all of the movies already. Uh, this was 10 years ago, so there weren't plugs in every seat in the plane. And my phone ran out of battery so fast it wasn't even funny. Uh, so I learned from that and started carrying battery packs on planes with me. Okay. Uh, so I could charge my electronics. Okay. The problem was that I was having to bring three or four along yep. and then plug them in that night individually because I was in a hotel or an Airbnb or at somebody's house and only had one plug. And it took two and a half, three hours to plug them. And then I'd go through them two or three at a time during just a four hour flight. Very frustrating, at least for me. Yep. So imagine my joy when I'm tripping through Kickstarter. Love Kickstarter. Yeah, that's my nice favorite. As a, as, a, as, a exactly. as a geek guy, that's like yep. that's, so that's like, good. That's like heaven on earth right there. There's <laughs> so many great ideas there. It really is, and you can find everything from you know games to art to tech. So yep. it's it's perfect. Uh, but I found this beautiful battery pack called the Storm Two. Okay, the Storm Two. The Storm 2. The wonderful thing about the Storm 2 is that it's providing 100 watt fast charging capabilities. Okay. And because it's using the same lithium batteries as Tesla vehicles, in smaller form, obviously, it can charge your phone up to seven times. <laughs> What's that? Tra- I had a picture of somebody with a big backpack. Uh, a Tesla a bat- battery? A battery. As, as a battery. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's this is one. small. It's about the size of a uh, can of Coke. Okay. We're going to go back to your... Can new of Coke. new Coke. Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> they don't like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it can charge your phone up to seven times. It can charge a laptop one and a half times. And when you plug it in at night, it only takes an hour and a half to charge fully. Oh, wow. And what's the name so, of this? It is called Storm Two. Storm Two. Storm Two. Yep. You can you can find it by going to Kickstarter and just searching for Storm Two. Okay. Or if you go to Facebook. Yep. And join our Tech Timers fan group. That's a great plug. Timers. Good job, Check Gwen. Out. Yeah. I, I love have that. posted the link in there, so okay. it is ready and waiting for you. So Facebook.com uh, forward slash. Uh, well, Facebook.com, and then you just search for Tech Timers. Tech Timers. Tech Timers. Exactly. And you still have 11 days to buy into this Kickstarter, so... Grab it now. What's holding yeah. you back? Grab yeah, it now. We all know you're going to go home and do that. 
I already did. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so, so I did. So I don't know if Gwen's See, really going to save so, me a whole lot yeah, of money. Yeah, so Gwen's but, not really saving you no. any money. I, okay. I'm not saving any money, but he can now tell Tracy it's all my fault. That's exactly correct. There why go? Yeah, yeah, why do you want to? As a producer, wanna, as a producer, you know, she understands yeah. my hurts. She understands my concerns. I, I understand. So she's going to be. Here. She's going to be your my buffer, your shield. Yeah, but slings and arrows. Okay, you know the big, you know Captain America armor shield. Yeah, I'm hiding right behind there. Yeah, yeah, I would advise against that. Vibranium, it's it's right there. Vibranium. Right? <laughs> vibranium. Oh, is it vibranium? Not vibranium. Okay, whatever. There's another misspelled word. Dude. That's my dictionary. <laughs> all, right, all right, Gwen. So, um, so we can find that on Kickstarter. Anything else yeah. that you need to tell us as a producer of the show before we get back into uh, our other items? Uh, well, uh, first of all, I, I love the costume, Nathan. Okay. Uh, I love that we never know what you're going to wear, and I highly recommend to everybody, even if you're listening on the radio now, check out the YouTube video when you get a chance, because then you get to see all of this wonderful stuff. That's right. We're so that's that's so great. That's, <laughs> she's a great producer and a writer. Fantastic. Uh-huh. All yeah, right, Gwen. Thank, thank you very much for joining us. We will look forward to seeing you back here in four weeks with your new gadget and gear. Sounds good. Thank you both very much. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. So my last thing to go before she heads out, she's, she's phenomenal. We appreciate all of our staff that work on Tech Time Radio. So thank you, Gwen, for joining us. We have the clicker. So let me just tell you about the clicker. This is a case. And I've been looking for a new case for my iPhone. And they have iPhone or clickers available on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Or you can go to C L C K R. Dot com and you can get the clicker and so what it is is it's a it's a wristband strap okay. so you can look at your phone this is an iPhone one of the newer iPhones and I have a I have mine up here right now for the broadcast you can see that I have it right here so I can stay the information it can become a stand vertically it can become a stand horizontally and what it does is this for my ADD attraction, I can just go back and forth uh, and, and look, click in the click. It's a little worse. It's, like, it's like a fidget. It's like a fidget uh, yeah, a deal wor- at the same time. So clicker cases, they come anywhere between uh, $14.99 for the Universal. And I think you have one right there yeah, that you're going to put on your phone. And so Mike's got one of those. Or you can get the $34.99, which are the special cases. But if you want a free one right now, we have two or three available. To give away, we have the Universal, and then we have the Samsung Galaxy 20 and 21, the newer version, and the iPhone 2021, the iPhone 10 Plus uh, in items. So if you want one, all you got to do is go to Twitter and hashtag Tech Time Radio and type in Clicker, C-L-C-K-R, and we'll have that until the items are given away. All right. Wasn't all right. that I want a clicker? Isn't that, <laughs> Is that what it was supposed to be? Yes. So you you need to tweet, I want a clicker. I so want a clicker. I want a clicker. C-L-C-K-R, or if you spell it incorrectly, then you're just a, a part of You might of get a lot of us old guys thinking it's TV remotes. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Why would you think that with a case like this? Because that, that's what we call <laughs> the TV remotes. Oh, Give the me clicker. the clicker. The old clicker. Okay. Find the clicker. Remember? No, I just, no, you don't. I don't because you know what my dad used to do. Used he to, said, "Go to channel 11. Yeah, and you yeah. know what he did? He kicked me in, and he kicked me in the side, and then I go up there and I change well, yeah, it to channel I, 11. I went through that too. But okay, the clicker was this big loud click, click, click thing. All right, well, we need to take a commercial break. David's like, "Hey guys, you need to get back on track. You guys are, are stalling out into the middle of no man's land." So we're going to take a commercial break. When we come on back, we're going to be talking about NFTs. If you have a uh, a uh, segment where you want to call in and talk about any security breaches or any compromises that have happened to you like a camera, now would be the time to do that. Again, at one 298 kknw that's 5569 or 425-373-3 or 5527. Give us a call. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's up? Hey, have you ever heard of Thousand Fell? No, rid of those trees. No, not trees. That was a thousand trails. Thousand Fell creates the first 100% recyclable circular sneaker. They call it the full circle footwear, which guarantees the sneakers will never end up in a landfill. Well, okay. Well, they sound pretty cool, but maybe our intern Tierney can give us a little, shed more light on this. I've actually seen a bunch of sneakers kind of with a similar outlook, but I haven't seen anything quite like Thousand Fell before. It really looks like their sneaker um, has that leather look to it that I think everyone wants, but I know that a lot of people are starting to be more earth conscious and wanting to be more slow fashion as opposed to fast fashion. 
It's odor repellent, blister proof, versatile design. You don't have to wear socks with it. Each pair combines thoughtful design with modern and sustainable sourced materials, making them durable, comfortable, and recyclable. The products are built to last and to be recycled. Lace up and slip on new sneakers. Their Instagram seems pretty up to coolness. Be the first to get Thousand Fell's latest color drop collection, which is coming soon. New customers can receive 10% off their first purchase. And if you shop before the 16th to get your sneakers at $20 off. Come and visit Thousand Fell at www.thousandfell.com. That's www.thousandfell.com. Upon your purchase, please make sure to mention Tech Time Radio in your post survey. www.thousandfell.com. Hi, this is Lisa Downs, host of Reigniting You, a new show here on KKNW that explores a variety of topics and timely issues for making mid to late career transitions. I'll be here every Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock bringing you guest interviews, career transition advice, and great stories to guide you to what's next in your career and life. Gain a renewed sense of purpose for your next phase with a positive, forward-looking approach. Get ready to be re-energized, recharged, and reignited Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Have you heard of Unidragon.com? Yeah, isn't that the puzzle people? It is. They are the largest manufacturer and sellers of wooden puzzles in the world. Let me tell you about it. They have tons of designs. All is set $29.95 on their website at Unidragon.com. Yeah, I know. I've seen them. I, I really like the owl one. All of these are laser cut to perfection. Instead of those old traditional puzzles that you get that are done on cheap cardboard backings, these are all done with wood cutouts, laser cut, and the images instead of the standard jigsaw puzzle actually include different animals within the puzzle itself to put together. It's like it's like those big collages where they have faces that turn into Empire State Buildings and stuff. That's correct. Absolutely. You really see so you, you you like the charming owl? Well, I really like the owl. And right now there's a special going on for any Tech Time Radio listeners. If they put in the code Dragon Tech, they'll receive 10% off until June 1st, 2021. That's cool. I'm going to put an order in today. And of course, my favorite, the inspiring unicorn. Are you going to get the fox or are you going to get the dragon or the fish? What 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 are you looking to get? No, man, I'm going to get the owl. You're going to get the owl, not the serious panda? No, but the owl. It's all about the owl, man. I'm it's, a night owl. You're a night owl. You are a night owl. Visit unidragon.com today and make sure to put in Dragon Tech as your code to receive 10% off. And remember... Yeah, those are really cool. I really like the owl. Mike likes the owl. Welcome back to Take Time Radio. How's your whiskey tasting, Mike? Not bad, not bad. Not bad. I'm a little bit through it a little bit quicker. Yeah, you're going through it faster than I am. I'm a little bit more Irish mood today. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, what, I <laughs> that's top, what it is. Top of the morning. Now it's top of the afternoon for you. Okay. <laughs> It'll okay. be top of the evening before you know it. Anyway, that's not what I broke in for. Hey, David. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Hey, we have a caller on the line. Wants to talk about some security we, we issues? A, we have a caller. Okay, okay. We got a caller on the line. A caller will always take precedence over us going into... Uh, one of our segments. So we're going to put our NFT segment on hold here. And uh, what's the caller's name, David? Daryl. All right. Let's uh, have Daryl join the line. Okay, Daryl, you're on. All right. Very good. Hey, by the way, I do like the hat and the uh, and the outfit. A great show. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that's right. You know what? I don't. I don't know what Daryl's going to talk about, but Daryl's already my favorite fan yeah, on, on the radio okay. show here. So <laughs> I think I think Daryl's getting paid somewhere. <laughs> no, yeah. he's not. So so Daryl. Uh, nice. Glad, glad yeah. that you called, and you're calling up the show to talk about specifically, I have a note here from David, he said some security breaches. What, what happened here? Yes, well, I was a victim of a hack that I assisted with. Um, a guy was supposed to be working on my computer, increase speed, and, and clean up some things. And it turned out that he uh, was a hacker, a uh, great talker, and uh, convinced me to allow him to... Um, uh, remote access my computer. Oh and no! So, so I how, learned that is something you never do. That's correct. Okay, so let's Hardly. so let's talk about this. Is great because we talked about security already. So let's so let's talk about this. So did you get like an yeah. email from them? Did they call you up? How did the how did the engagement um, happen? Well, they 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 called me. Uh, it was actually about a year ago when I first got connected with them, and I had had some trouble with my GPS, and so. These guys called to, to fix it, and so they, they looked legit, and I bought their service for 350 bucks. They did get my GPS working, 
And at the same time, he uh, went in remotely, uh, did things on my computer, which improved it. And then, uh, like I say, it's been about a year later, they called me back and stated that um, they were having some software issues because I'd had a five-year plan, so they were going to refund me my 350 And I said, great. And so they said, uh, so type this in. And, and, uh, and so I typed in and gave them the remote access. And uh, then uh, they went in, and I think the first thing they deleted was probably my web root uh, safety measure, and then they had control of the computer. What is and, what is that? So WebRoot is an antivirus software. So I probably okay. I probably wouldn't have used WebRoot because we've talked about that before. I like Windows Defender uh, over mm-hmm. anything else. But so let's talk about. It. So again, we talked on last week's episode specifically about uh, Nick talked about it, where hackers will come on in, they'll gain access to a machine, and then they'll sit dormant, right? So right. they'll sit dormant there for a little while, not doing yeah. anything. So their lure to get you to engage with them again was for them to say that they were going to refund you. Now, during this process, right. did they actually refund you anything? Did they, so that you yeah. then, okay? Well, then he, and then he brought up his Chase account, and he said, we're just going to do a direct Chase to Chase uh, uh, transfer. And so he brought up his account, and then my uh, account, I, I put the information in, and instead of transferring 350 he transferred uh, 1899 and uh, then he said, oh, no, oh, no, I made a mistake, and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get fired to get to fix this. Um, and I said, well, can't I just send you back uh, the money via Zelle? And uh, he said, no, no, he says we can't do that. There, there are legal reasons and restrictions. And so he wanted me to go down to the local supermarket and uh, buy some uh, uh, game cards. Uh, and if they had 500, then three 500 ones. Basically, he said, you know what, uh, j- just... Uh, pay me back fifteen hundred, and and we're good. Okay, and, uh, so okay. so that's very common tactic. It's a confidence game. Yeah, yeah, it's a very it's a very yeah. common tactic. So you boy. actually saw. So they actually then transferred money into your account. That's kind mm-hmm. of the the way that that hackers do this type of stuff. So you saw yeah. money go into your account. So you're like, oh, okay, yeah. this must be legit because they yeah. just sent me two thousand dollars and. And, and if you're really lucky, then you just say, okay, see you later. But then they'll go and say, oops, it was, a, it was an incorrect yeah. charge, and they'll pull it back. So essentially, even if you say and, and stop there, you're still not going to get that $2,000. But you saw the money in there. Right. So then they call yeah. back and say, oops, we made a mistake. And the human thing says, oh, okay, yeah, yeah you're said, right, you're right. Job. And he said, I'm going to lose my job. we got to fix this. And, and uh, so, he, he, so I drove down to the store, and, and, you know, which is about 15 miles away, and and uh, got some of the cards, and uh, there were actually seven of them. Uh, two, uh, there were there were six for uh, two hundred bucks. No, excuse me, there were seven for two hundred bucks and one for a hundred bucks. So it was a total of fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. And came back and discovered that they were not activated, though the store charged me. So the charge the store charged me fifteen hundred dollars. That okay. went out of my bank account, and. Uh, and then, uh, but only two of the cards, two four hundred dollar, two two hundred dollar cards were active, so a total of four hundred dollars that um, I gave him the codes for, scratched them off, and and so he had four hundred bucks back. So there was eleven hundred dollars remaining. But now, yeah, listen, was, let me let me ask you because yeah. here's the the technique for a lot of scammers is mm-hmm. even the, so they want you to leave the machine. So they can then have remote access. So by having you go to the store, knowing that you probably didn't have any Google cards or Apple cards or whatever gift cards they try to do, uh, it's normally a ploy by hackers to essentially allow them then to have access to your machine without you being tethered there looking into what happened. Did they add, do you you know, or do you have any indication if they were still on your machine while you had left? Yeah. Yeah. They were still on the machine. Um, the screen went blue and it said, we're updating your, we're updating your machine. And so he, and so he was telling me he's going to fix everything and, and, uh, uh, just be patient, go ahead and take care of that. And, and he said, you know, we got to do this. I can't lose my job. I've got, I've got a wife and kids. I, I, I we got to get this done. And, uh, I, I fell for it. I believed him. I trusted him. That's one of my issues. I tend to be a little naive and trusting. And in the meantime, um, he was uh, going through uh, my accounts and uh, withdrawing funds, and uh, yeah, it uh, he got a lot of money. Wow! Did he get a lot of money? I, I'm sorry to hear that, Daryl. So I, I appreciate yeah. you calling in. Let me let me tell you something here for a, a takeaway, and hopefully that 
that mm-hmm. you learned this the hard way, and hopefully oh, other I people. I got to say one thing. Yep. Um, my son happened to be here, and I was so thankful because he was able to go in and block uh, the majority of his attempts. There was really only one account, though it was one where I had my uh, retirement savings in um, a, a crypto account, and uh, he was able to raid that. Um, and then he had access to my bank account. He, we have three accounts within the bank, so he transferred funds from my wife to my account, from my savings to my account, and then he later put in a a, uh, a charge on the bank account for over $100,000. Um, I got a text alert stating that that was happening because um, it put my balance below 50 bucks. If I'm below 50 bucks, it always gives me a, a notice. Um, my son was able to get a hold of them and um, stop the, the charge. Fortunately, it was only pending. Um, the money did go to a, uh, a Coinbase account. That's the account he was using to raid my checking account. And uh, um, we're waiting to see whether we can retrieve uh, some or all of the funds. Uh, but I'm sorry to hear yeah, that, Daryl. I Thank learned you. the hard way. You learned the hard way. So here's two things, three things to take away from there. Two Two to yeah. three things. One, always make sure if you are a victim of a cyber crime, you reach out to the FBI, you reach out to the local law enforcement so that at least you have a ticket of that so that they okay. can engage and go through process. Two, yeah. make sure all your accounts you use dual factor authentication. I have done this completely. When I did my little episode where I kind of yelled at FireEye about stuff, they tried mm-hmm. to try to come into a bunch of my accounts, some YouTube accounts and some bank <laughs> accounts. So make sure you use a dual authentication factor authentication and make sure never to approve mm-hmm. anything unless you know for sure that that's there. And the third thing, yeah. understand that if there's anything of question, anything that seems out of the ordinary, anything that somebody's going to give you something for free and they're mm-hmm. here to help out, that right. that should always yeah. be a warning sign. As much Earth as flag. computer technology is is uniquely different, it still kind of goes back to the human aspect. It, it's always the human. They always get you on the human. He, he, yeah. You're... you're yeah your morality comes into question and so it's it's hard to say no to that yeah i was i was a sucker and i learned never allow anyone to have remote access that is correct computer. absolutely you don't you don't want to be doing that at all and give people there's so many tools out there well daryl thank you for calling into the show uh, hopefully yeah. you stay a listener. Make sure you go to techtimeradio.com and sign up to win some story coffee and some other great offers. Uh, thank yep. you very much. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, wow. that is wow. That is that, that was that was an interesting call. That's why we love putting people on the air. So if you call us up during the show, we'll put you on the I air. I hate technology. What does it take text? <laughs> so it sounds like it's. The, I hate people too. <laughs> I know. See, it sounds like those were bad people to begin with. That, they, and it was a long. It was a long con, right? Yeah, so it wasn't the well, simple no, con. No, it's not a long con. It's 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 a simple sympathy con. It is. He, he's taking advantage of his natural inclinations to be be polite and nice and helpful, and that's that's a very quick con uh, technique is j- just take advantage of somebody's sympathy for you for your sense. situation. Well, we do have to head out to a commercial break, so we're going to come on back, and I think we're going to have Mike's mesmerizing moment, Nathan's nuggets, and we're going to uh, talk about the NFT next week on next week's episode. Oh, we're not talking about that, huh? That was what my mesmerizing moment was all about. Okay, well, now we're going to have to figure out what we're going to talk about next. <laughs> so we'll head out to commercial breaks, right, David? All right, here we Hello, go. Hello, my name is Arthur, and my life's work is connecting people with coffee. Story Coffee is a small batch specialty coffee company that uses technology to connect people to each product resource, which allows farmers to unlock their economic freedom. Try our medium roast founder series coffee, which is an exotic bourbon variety that is smooth, fresh, and elegant at storycoffee.com. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Today, you can get your first bag free when you subscribe at storycoffee.com with code TECHTIME. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Your business deserves the same expertise as that of a Fortune 500 company. If you need a CIO level service, why hire a full-time staff member at $250,000 a year when you can get this on-demand service for fractions of the cost? As your CIO on demand, we'll give you the steps you need to take so as to minimize interruption to your business and profitability and provide you and your business with training and education to prevent future attacks. To get any 
efficiency review for your business today, contact us at www.ee-services.com. Hello, Seattle. How would you like to have immediate and easy access to your live EKG and heart rate data? Your data right at your fingertips and with no need to hook up wires and leads or be strapped to a machine at the doctor's office. The new Pulse device from Vivomi continuously tracks your EKG and displays this data on your mobile phone. Have you ever wondered how your EKG and heart rate behaves when you're exercising at the gym, navigating the stressful demands of the workday, or just getting the kids ready for school or relaxing at home? The Pulse is a different kind of wearable, and you can experience this difference by going to www.vivomi.com and ordering your device today. Your business deserves the same expertise as that of a Fortune 500 company. If you need a CIO-level service, why hire a full-time staff member at $250,000 a year when you can get this on-demand service for fractions of the cost? As your CIO on demand, we'll give you the steps you need to take so as to minimize interruption to your business and profitability and provide you and your business with training and education to prevent future attacks. To get an efficiency review for your business today, contact us at at www.ee-services.com. Upper Left Corner is a PNW true crime podcast now streaming on all major podcast platforms. If you get excited when your favorite true crime podcast tells a story about a place that you've been to or the town that you live in, then Upper Left Corner podcast is for you. Each week, I tell you a story of a crime that has taken place in the PNW and give you background about the town the crime occurred in. If you like true crime, check out Upper Left Corner podcast now available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and more. Ace Hardware is a helpful place with prompt, friendly service, knowledge, and the little things that make a big difference. Service. Selection. Advice. Community involvement. Competitive prices. Convenience. Located near you. And the things you need, such as... House keys. Lawn and garden. Plumbing. Electrical. Hardware. Grills. Outdoor living supplies. And even nuts and bolts. When you visit Ace Hardware, you'll be greeted at the door and given the help you need. So come visit us at Ace Hardware in Evergreen Way in Everett, Lake Stevens, and now Stanley. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware folks welcome back to tech time radio i'm your host nathan mom we got mike Corday here and david brown on the board okay we're going to be talking about nfts next week non-fungible tokens so make sure yep so make sure you are here we're going to be talking about that we're moving our technology insider uh story to next week but we are going to now move to our mike's mesmerizing Moment. This is Mike's Mesmerizing Moment, presented by Story Coffee. Visit storycoffee.com. All right. So, you know, we just heard this this horrible story. Yep. Right? Um, the reason why this is such a such a common story is, is that human beings are, A, we're in our society, we're raised to be polite and nice. Okay. Right, but also we also have a, a need for acceptance. We don't want to be rejected, and, and we we try to be helpful. We want to be helpful. So this is this is the primary way that that a con person will try to take advantage of you, and it's called a sympathy ploy. Okay, and so they're engaging in that in that human that natural human behavior for you to be want to be helpful to them in order to take advantage of you. I I know it's probably kind of crappy just to say hey you know you really shouldn't beat yourself up over it because this is a natural thing that we want to do as as fellow human beings we want to be helpful yep and beating yourself up over it is 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 counterproductive but that's that's an overly simplistic answer okay so you know it's just it's just try to do your best learn from it when those warning bells go off Really try to take a step back, and there are polite ways that you can you can do that. Can do that and take a step back. All yeah. right, so we're gonna go right now to the uh, uh, Nathan Nugget of the day. This is your Nugget of the week. Oh, you have <laughs> the Nugget of the week. All nugget right, so week. I just want to talk about an app that is fantastic. It's called Clubhouse. Okay, so I have been addicted to this Clubhouse party line. Is the party we talked about this a couple weeks ago? The party line application to listen to people talk. So if you have an iPhone, because it doesn't work on Samsung, I would absolutely recommend you go on out and install Clubhouse. And if you need an invite, all you got to do is hashtag Tech Time Radio and say, I need an invite, and I will send you a Clubhouse invite today. All right. Our Irish episode, 
Thumbs up, thumbs, thumbs down. Up. Thumbs up on the whiskey, thumbs down on the hat. So, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I don't know about that. I think it was fantastic whiskey. I will be having some more of that uh, Jameson Caskmates IPA edition uh, for weeks to come. Uh, I am Nathan Mum. We have Micro Day here. We have David Brown. We enjoyed uh, doing our show here on Tech Time Radio. Now, next week's episode, we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency. Or, uh, is it worth more than Monopoly money? We're going to talk about NFTs, and we will have an action-packed show. I'm Nathan Mum. I'm Mike Gorday. And we got David Brown. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that hmm moment today in technology. The fun doesn't stop there. We recommend that you go to techtimeradio.com and join our fan list for the most important aspect of staying connected and winning some really great monthly prizes. We also have a few other ways to stay connected, including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from Apple to Google and everything in between. We're also on YouTube. So check us out on youtube.com slash techtimeradio, all one word. We hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you. From all of us at Tech Time Radio, remember, mum's the word. Have a safe and fantastic week.